it's Judy Morris from BeautySweetSpot.com, and I'm sitting here with Cindy Crawford. Um, so Cindy, about the Mini Club Beauty event, what is one product from your collection that you recommend all women have to have? Well, I think um, a fun product to have is Zero. Just to live with that Perfect glow. Yes, definitely. You can use it, I mean, as a serum to use it under your moisturizer, but one of the little tricks is one of my favorite artist friends turned me on to is you can use it again on top of your makeup so you can really take a tiny little bit and just dab it on my inner cheeks and you get like that, that dewy cheek. A dewy fresh glow. I love that. I love the channel one. Okay, great. And then, um, what is one product that's not in your line that you cannot live without day to day? That's my favorite for, uh, foundation right now, and it has an SPF, um, and it's super light and has really good colors. Great. Um, and then your dress, we talked about your dress earlier, Roberto Cavalli. It's fantastic. Who's your favorite designer? Who do you love I her? have to say um, Roberto is definitely one of them. Um, I like Alexander Wang. Um, you know, but I'm uh, in LA. I live in LA in Malibu, so I'm kind of like a jeans and a cute top kind of girl. And that could be anything from Elizabeth, Elizabeth and James. I love. Um, you know, great cords by anybody, different yes. different brands. I'm trying to think, yeah. love leather jackets, but you know, it doesn't always have to be a big designer. It can be if you find like a cool little one. I love that you're very like natural, all American. Like you know who you are, and you can just rock anything. Yeah, well, I mean, not anything, but I, I feel like by this point, I've kind of figured out where my comfort zone is. So. That's good. That's very nice. And then um, one more thing: if a girl was to get into modeling today, since she was starting out, what piece of advice would you give her? Um, I would give her to make sure your agency is really excited about you because they'll work harder for you, even if it's maybe not the best agency, if they're maybe in the top ten, but, but they're really excited to have you. I think that's good. I think be willing to put in the hard work. You don't end up on the cover of Vogue overnight. You need to like learn your craft um, and do like all the jobs. Sometimes have all the jobs that you have to do to get to the jobs. And, um, but I also think that don't ever get talked in anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. It's, it's a kind of a cliche that, you know, there's some slimy photographers out there who want to, hey, take off your shirt or whatever. And the thing is, is if I've done new pictures that I felt great about, and I've done new pictures where I kind of got talked into doing it and I didn't feel great about it. So make sure you feel good about it before you do it. That's great advice. And you were with Elite, right? I was with Elite, yeah, for a long time. Was that the first and only? Well, I was with Stewart in Chicago, but they became Elite. Oh, okay. After I joined them, and then so then when I went from Chicago to New York, I just stayed with them. And I was with them until I didn't have a modeling agency anymore. I now I have a theatrical agent. I'm with CEO. And just because I'm doing more licensing in my own projects, it seems to work better. And I'm in LA. So. For beauty students, I want to say one is okay every girl's guilty pleasure. So, what is your number one guilty pleasure? Oh wow, um, massages. Every girl. Yeah, yeah. I love massages. You know, chocolate, but that's too cliche. Right? <laughs> okay, well, thank you so Great. much. Thank you. Nice talking nice to you. Nice to meet you.